Welcome back everybody. Today we're not going over the gun, we're going over this holster that you see here on my hip by Alien Holsters. One of the most recommended, or I should say, asked for, requested uh, holsters out there on the market by you guys. You guys are uh, been requesting that I review it, so I went ahead and got one, and now we're going to let you know what I think of it. When the holster arrives in the mail, you get obviously your holster that you see here. It comes with uh, the metal clips. There also are leather clips available on the website, so it's kind of just whichever one you prefer there. I prefer the metal for an inside the waist brand hybrid type holster. Hybrid meaning that it's a combination of Kydex and leather. The leather here, incidentally, is cowhide, for those of you guys wondering. You also get in your instructions that kind of tell you about the warranty. It also tells you how to set your holster up and uh, just has some how to wear advice as well on the opposite side. You get in a whole bunch of different screws, replacement screws, as well as these little spacing uh, gap things that you see here and what those are. For those of you guys that don't know are these little gaps right here that allow you to set uh, how you want your holster set up and the amount of distance that you want between the two. Uh, you also get a sticker apparently. So all that comes with the holster. Getting into the holster itself, you'll note that uh, these screws right here serve two functions. They serve the function of uh, obviously binding the kydex to the leather portion. They also adjust the tension and you can adjust the tension by either tightening down these screws or you can add in smaller uh, rubber pieces here. So there's different different uh, distances, different lengths in here, and you can adjust the tension either by minute uh, increments by tightening the screws or a little bit larger increments by swapping out which spacer you want there. Um, it comes in a brown holster, or brown leather I should say, standard. The black is $5 extra. The overall cost of the holster itself is $30, and that's the big reason why these holsters are, are so popular out there on the market right now. The holster base load, basic load is just $30 for the basic holster. So they come for a ton, a ton, a ton of different guns. I really can't list them here because there's just so many. So go to their website. Odds are very good that they're going to have your gun there. Um, another advantage of this type of holster is since the kydex piece and the uh, leather are two different pieces, the leather backing will work with any any other gun that they have out there. So um, if you have, like, let's say this here is for the uh, four, four inch, four and a quarter inch, I should say, 1911. So you see that there and you want to switch out to a Glock 19, you can contact Alien Gear, just go on their website actually, and you can get a kydex piece for a Glock 19 and keep your original holster. That kydex piece will only run you $12. Also, if you switch guns, so say you're the kind of person who only un owns one gun, and uh, Glock 19, for instance, and your original holsters for a Glock 19, and you switch out for a SIG P229, you can actually send your old piece of Kydex in, and they'll send you the new one for the new gun that you have free of charge. So, really, really tough to beat that. Um, shells for $12 if you want additional, and free replacement should you change your gun. The fit and finish of the holster is excellent. If you look around the edges, you can see they're burnished edges. Nothing sharp, nothing fraying. Same on the Kydex. You'll see the Kydex finish is excellent as well all the way around. It's formed well to the gun and has good retention as it comes from the factory. This here is as it comes. I did not change anything, although likely I will probably change out the tension screws, but I just wanted to wear it as it came for a little while. And uh, easy to remove. It still holds the gun in place. I forgot to mention the warranty in these holsters. This holster is also come with a great warranty, so it has a free 30-day money-back trial. So if you don't like it for any reason, you can send it back for 30 days, within 30 days of receiving it, and get all your money back, no questions asked. And I also have a lifetime warranty, so if at any time like you strip a screw out or, or the Kydex cracks or whatever, whatever happens, they will uh, replace it free of charge. So tough to go wrong there. And when you consider, again, these holsters come to market at $30 right on their website. So. It's very easy to see why this was one of the most requested uh, holsters I've ever had here on the channel. Tons of folks told me about it, and they wanted to say, why is it so cheap? Well, if you go to their website, uh, Alien Holster says, why is everybody else so expensive? And I kind of see what they're getting at there, obviously. But no doubt about it, it is a functional, comfortable holster, and for $30, it's hard to complain. Honestly, the only complaint I would have, if you will, which I'm not really going to call it a complaint, but just something to think about, is that the piece of leather here, since it's sort of like a one-size-fits-all, is somewhat large for some guns. So, you know, if you were to put a Glock 26 in here, it would be a gigantic piece of leather. So it's just something to keep in mind. Even for that four inch Smith & Wesson, there's kind of a lot of extra material that really wouldn't need to be there if you were making it just for that one gun. But obviously, economies of scale, um, they need to make them to keep their costs where they are. So no complaints at all. I'm not, not bad about it. Just something to think in mind there. Keep in mind there, I should say. But all in all, excellent holster for $30. Honestly, I don't know that you're gonna find a better one out there if you want a hybrid style holster. 
you guys have any questions about this holster, anything else I talk about here on the channel, you can always post below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.